Hello everybody and welcome back to Blue Jay Acres. Today is another What's For Dinner November. Um, so if you have new or you don't know what's going on, I am sharing with you everything that we're having for dinner throughout the month of November. I'm sharing recipes with you and just kind of cooking dinner with you every night. Sorry, I was pulling a hair <laughs> off my camera. Uh, and tonight we are gonna do some Sloppy Joes, but they are gonna be a Big Mac Sloppy Joes. And I have quite a bit of ground beef. So what I'm gonna do, um, or the package is kind of big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on and brown that up with the onions and I'm gonna put half of that away for our stuffed acorn squash tomorrow and use the other half for dinner tonight. So that's always a win-win when something like that can be happening. But we're also gonna make homemade buns. So we're gonna start that here in a minute because it is 2.13 and we really need to get that started. Uh, we're going to make some mayonnaise and some French dressing to make the mac sauce. So I will share that with you. And then we're going to make homemade onion rings and I will share that with you. We were supposed to have some key lime cookies, which I was actually really excited about making. However, we still have some carrot cake left. And so I really don't want to make a dessert just to make a dessert because I'm trying to share with you what we're really eating. <laughs> and I don't just make dessert to make it that's just for some reason it's taking us a longer time to get through this carrot cake but let me tell you it is so good if you missed that definitely want to go check that video out because that carrot cake is really bomb it is really really good um so let's go on and we're just going to start up with making the buns so that those can get rising because that's a two to three hour process um i will tell you my in my opinion homemade buns there's nothing like it they taste so much better than store-bought buns. However, I have found, at least personally, we do not care for them the next day. So they're wonderful and better than anything store-bought. You eat them that day fresh, but we really don't care for them the next day. So I'm only gonna be making eight buns, and that way I don't have a bunch of leftover buns. So, that being said, let's go on and jump into these buns. Okay, we're going to start with three and a half cups of flour. Now, the nice thing about this is this recipe can all just be thrown together. So, three and a half cups of flour. Three-fourths to one cup of warm water, not hot, just warm. Two tablespoons of softened butter. one egg, one tablespoon of yeast, a fourth a cup of sugar, one and a fourth teaspoon of salt. And that is it. We're just going to get this all mixed up. do here is just cover it and let this rise until double could take one hours could take two depends on the temperature of your house all right so while that is rising I'm gonna go on and make the French dressing and the mayonnaise that way I can let that go on and sit in the fridge and it'll just be way easier to put together when I am ready to make the mac sauce so here's how you make super simple mayonnaise and super simple French dressing Okay, so when I make dressing, I'm super fancy. I just use this, an old jar. This is just a, uh, I think it was a salsa jar right here. And that works out perfect because then you can shake it up. It's just a perfect dressing size container. And so I just always use a jar that I have laying around to make any kind of dressing when I'm making homemade dressing. So you're gonna wanna start with one cup of sugar. I am using a fourth cup just because I can get it in here in this jar good. 
So I will put four of those in here. Next, I'm going to do two thirds a cup of ketchup. And a half a cup of a light oil. I am using avocado oil. Grapeseed oil would work great too. I don't really care for olive oil in this kind of thing because I feel like it's too strong of a flavor. And I'm also going to be using avocado oil in the mayonnaise. So that is just, that's the lighter oil that I prefer. We are getting full. I'm going to need to mix this up a little bit so that I've got room to put my other stuff in. Because <laughs> it's getting pretty full. Next is a half cup of white vinegar. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of mustard. It actually calls for mustard powder, but I don't have any. So I'm just using Dijon mustard. We're just going to add a little bit of salt. I did about an eighth a teaspoon. We're also going to do an eighth teaspoon of smoked paprika. I did mine a little heaping because I love paprika. Half a teaspoon of celery seed, half teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder. Then I'm just going to stir that up again until I can get it where I can shake it all up. Now I'm going to just shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, that is it. The French dressing is done. Hopefully you guys can see that good. <laughs> see if I can make it where you guys can see it better. I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'm going to go on and make the mayonnaise. All right, so mayonnaise is so easy if you don't already make it, but you do need something kind of tall and cylinder shaped that you can fit your immersion blender in. Um, at least that's how I make it, but it does better if it is in something like this. So I'm gonna start with one egg in the bottom. To that, you're gonna add a half a teaspoon I'm sorry, a tablespoon of lemon juice. So I just squeezing, I am just squeezing, my mouth is not working, half a small lemon. Just making sure I keep the seeds out. One teaspoon of white vinegar. A fourth teaspoon of salt. About a fourth teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Then I'm going to add three-fourths cup of avocado oil. And you can go up to a cup. I'm going to start with three-fourths, and if I need a little bit more, I'll drizzle a little more in. Okay, now we're going to give it a minute to settle. Um, one of the other things that you can do is you can add a second egg yolk, which I did, but the original recipe does not call for a second egg yolk. It just makes it a little richer. Then we're going to put this down 
and put it firmly on the bottom, not lifting at all. Push, push on your virgin blender. We're going to let it thicken and start to come up the side some. As you can see is just homemade mayonnaise it does tend to be a little bit thinner than store-bought but it tastes so much better I'm just gonna put this in the fridge so it is ready to go all right it is four o'clock almost and my dough is having issues today not rising it happens I mean it's rising just slowly so all I'm gonna do is put it on a heating pad just to kind of rush it along a little bit <laughs> help it along a little so just so you know that that is always an option or you can warm up your stove a little and have it sitting on top here um, sometimes you just got to help it along a little bit okay so now that's about as good as I'm gonna get from it today because it is going on <laughs> um, it's 444 so I'm gonna punch this down because this still has to rise yet again I'm gonna go on and get a cookie sheet I am just going to leave my heating pad sitting here. I'm going to just line my cookie sheet here with some paper. And then I'm going to divide this into eight buns. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of fold it under with my hands and turn it into like a little, a little ball. Okay, then all I'm going to do is just kind of flatten them a little bit so that I can turn them into buns. And now I'm going to cover and let these rise again. All right, these are starting to look pretty good. I have the oven set preheating at 375. I'm just going to cover that back up for just a few minutes while the oven is preheating. Alright, while it finishes preheating, we're going to go on and get the buns ready. I've just got some melted butter here. I'm going to put some of that on now. Then I'm going to take an egg white wash and all I have here is just an egg white and a little bit of water. I'm just stirring it up real good and I'm going to add that next to the top. These are going to bake for 15 to 18 minutes or until they are golden brown and this egg wash is going to help sesame seeds stick to the top. You cannot have Big Macs without sesame seeds on your bun, right? So these now are ready to go into the oven. Stay back. All right, so the buns are done. All 
Now I'm gonna take the rest of this melted butter and just gently, trying not to take any of these sesame seeds off, put some on the top. So they have a nice buttery flavor. And now I'm gonna let this go sit to cool off while we make the onion rings. Okay, in one bowl, I'm gonna put a bunch of just breadcrumbs. I'm just using panko breadcrumbs. In another bowl, I'm gonna add some flour. Some baking powder. Some smoked paprika and some salt and then I'm just gonna stir that up real quick then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my onions that I'm turning into onion rings and I'm gonna get them in the flour mixture and set them over here on a plate Okay, now that that's all done to this mixture, I'm going to add an egg and some milk. I also do have my um, oil heating on the stove. Now I want this to be about the consistency of a pancake batter, so I'm going to need to add some more milk. Something else that's really good is to just add a little hot sauce to the batter. Add crumbs, I'm going to add just a little bit more salt. And a little pepper. And we'll just kind of mix that up. Okay, now we're going to go over to the stove area. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my onion, dip it in this batter, shake it off a little bit, thread in the breadcrumbs, and then into the oil. Just going to kind of flip them. And there they are. I'm just going to sprinkle a little salt and I'm going to finish these up real quick. Okay, next I'm just going to make the meat. And to the meat, I'm going to add onions. And I'm just going to get this browned. Okay, 
Okay, so while that is starting to brown, we're gonna go on and make up our mac sauce real quick. We're gonna add a cup of mayonnaise. A fourth a cup of our French dressing. A tablespoon of ketchup. About two tablespoons of sweet relish. A teaspoon of white vinegar. A little onion powder. And a little salt. I need to refill my salt shaker. We're just going to stir this all together to be our mac sauce. Okay, now I'm going to go on and get some of this meat out because I told you I was making a two for one. I'm going to put some of this into my um, dinner tomorrow night. So I'm just going to take some of that out, about half. And now I'm going to just strain this just a little bit. I'm going to actually take out a little bit more because I am not sure if everybody's going to like it with the mac sauce or not. If your family all loves mac sauce, then you would just do this with the whole thing. Now you add some of the mac sauce to this mixture leaving some to put on your buns and you're going to stir it all around here you also it says you can add dill pickles right now if you want and not all of my family likes dill pickles so we're going to do that just kind of on the side and then i'm going to cover the top of this with some cheese And I'm just going to pop this lid and remove it from the heat so that cheese gets all melted. Okay, so here's how you assemble it. We're just going to take our bun, cut it in half. Then a little mac sauce on the top. Some lettuce on the top. Some of the sloppy joe mixture on the bottom. And there we have it. Charles is cutting the buns. He's going to try it for you guys. All right, you ready to try it? I, I am. Oh, you made onion rings. I haven't tried any of those yet. <laughs> He's been eating them all. I might need a napkin. What's the verdict? I know where it got the name Sloppy Joe, <laughs> but it's pretty darn perfect. Is it good? Mm -hmm. And what did you think about the onion rings? They were good. One I had didn't have as much salt as another. So a little bit more salt on the one made it perfect. There you have it, folks. I need an apple. And I didn't realize it, but it looks like my buns got... I mean, they're not burnt at all. They're just a little browner than I wanted. Were the buns good? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Well, what do you think, Kate? It tastes just like a Big Mac. Thea, what do you think? Good. Good? What were you just saying? A hundred percent. Ronnie, what do you think? It's good. There you have it. Everybody loves it. All right, there you have it, guys. We're going to go eat dinner, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.